Welcome to Nikishimi online training. Today we'll be making a bow and um, look at the bow very well. It's very strong, it's very thin, very very thin. See? I'll be telling us what was added to the bow to make it this thin. It's not a flexible, it's not a soft bow. Okay, for making this bow, first you get your material. Your material will be working with this material get your material you measure six inches by six inches then you iron your gum stay you iron your gum stay to your material and remember your gum stay it has a gum it has a gum check the glossary surface of it this is it you see these gums on it then this other face that has gum you put it at the rough face of your material and iron i'll do mine now and show you how it's done Okay, now I've cut out my gum stay 6 inches by 6 inches. Then I added some to it, some a little bit while cutting. Now, I'm going to iron this gum stay to this material. And I'll be ironing it at the wrong face. Remember, iron at the wrong face. Don't iron on the smooth surface of your material. Many people make such mistakes so that you won't go doing your work two times. Make sure you take note of the face you are ironing to so now look at the gum stain here is the rough here doesn't have gum now so I'll be placing this other part that has gum if you look at it you see that the part that has gum shines more than the part that doesn't have gum so I'll place it like this put my iron put my iron then I iron so now iron it make sure you hit your iron very well. Make sure you hit your iron very well and you iron it. See why you iron it? It will stay on its own. Now I have finished ironing it. If you check now, the gum stay has stick to the material. That stick very well to the material so what I will do now now cut out the excess from the material I'll cut out the excess of this material now leaving only with the gum stay and the part that has the gum stay then I'll sew it now I have cut out the material I've separated you see how it looks now okay now I want to sew it round and if I want if you want to sew you have to fold it this way remember you fold it this way into two then you start from here and sew down to here sew everything from here to here don't fold, don't sew this way don't sew it this way we are still going to turn it out after stitching if you stitch it like this that means you, you your stitches will be showing so we we'll use our thread and needle now then we use our thread and needle and sew. You sew like this from here. You sew to this edge. You take it down to this edge to this edge. Then after, I will teach us how to turn it. Then watch while I do mine now. You can see now I'm stitching it like this. Just like I told you. I will stitch it to this part. Then come down this way. Take it like this with my thread and needle. It doesn't necessarily need to have a, a sewing machine before you can make something beautiful. Now, as you can see, I have finished sewing my own all round. I've sewn it all round. And after sewing, remember to always, remember to always um, tie it. Remember to always tie it. Look at my tie here. Yeah? at them remember to always tie yours okay now i want to show us how we can bust it how we can bust it and turn the other side now for the busting you have to make sure you push it in from here yeah, so that it will separate between the both sides you have this side separate i also have this side separate now you bust you bust it from here bust it from somewhere somewhere here this is where we'll be turning it hope you are seeing what i'm doing 
this is this is my busting this is my first step from here i'll be turning to the other side but before we turn it you have to trim out all these excesses all these excesses you are seeing here we we'll trim it out so that we we'll have a, a a nice edge after when we have finished turning it now let me trim let me trim the the excess Okay, now I've trimmed it. Now it's left for me to pull. I'll push it in from here. See what I'm doing now? Trying to pull. I'm turning it bit by bit. You take it easy. You know, you follow it up gently. Pull. Turn. your hand bring out all the edges bring it out okay this is what we have this is what we have this is where we busted from this is where we bust it from then this is what we have now we want to make our pull put your hand here and here then look try to locate the center try to locate the center now when you locate the center of it you try to fold it the way you want it you fold the folding depends on how you want your bowl to be My, my remember my hand is still fixed here while I use this other hand to adjust and dress so use this other hand to adjust it the way I want then I dress it now as we are used to do my center now you keep adjusting it to what you want adjusting it work on it keep stretching the folded parts that is not well pleated like a bow you can see now it's coming out this is the middle where we'll be cutting out a little material of this size we fold it in cover these rough edges then put it and, and sew but before we do that we have to make sure that our bow has come out well because that will be the finishing part I also advise if you are making your bow I advise people to sew it you can so use your thread and needle try to pass it here first before you use this to cover your work try to pass it from here now this is our bow this is what our bow will look like this is our now I want to make it firm so I want to pass my thread and needle from here to this place and stitch it now as you can see I've been able to put my needle here and pass it and sew so you can pass it as many times as you want while I'm still sewing I keep adjusting the curves I keep adjusting it my reasons for sewing it is to make here to be firm to make here to be strong okay so keep sewing it to when you are satisfied and then you tie that's when you tie 
you can see now I have cut out the thread now I want to finish my work by covering this place I'll cover it cut out a little pieces like this cut out the pieces like this then fold in and fold in like this fold it in like this this way you place it here and you take it to the back so you tend to be the back don't worry about the excess don't worry about the excess you cut it out after sewing okay now i've been able to i've gotten the middle i've dressed the middle now the way i want it look at it now look at it look at it very well even as you are trying to dress the middle remember to always stretch and correct your bow foldings okay now this is it this is it this is what it looks like so you get your thread and needle get your thread and needle and sew here sew it very strong very tight very tight sew the back sew this one now this particular one this one now that we use to cover our bow here sew it very tight so that it will be firm so it's very tight so that it will be firm then you cut out these excesses okay let me do mine and show you see it see it now okay now i finished sewing my look at it you can see it i sewed at the back at the back of the one i folded i sewed at the back of it very tight then look at my bow now look at the way it is look at it isn't it beautiful at the bow now isn't this beautiful now you can use this as your bow tie you can add elastic here elastic to it when you are putting on your suit you know you, when you are putting on your shirt and you wish to have a touch of ankara with it use your your elastic weight at your collars and you are good to go you can use to decorate your handbag your shoe a lot, a, lot, a lot more you can use it for creative thing you can even use it for your hair comb hair 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 piece you can use it for your hair piece you just add your comb here with a uh, glue and you test it okay don't forget you are watching nikishimi world thanks for watching